Good morning everybody. Um, welcome to a rather green and rather wet June morning here in Wales. Um, this is the place I'm blessed to live in. Um, here's our little stream. Um, but as I was walking along here, taking little dog Flossie who's disappeared for a walk, I suddenly thought if I met somebody on the road and we started a conversation and it usually starts, oh, how are you? I wondered, there's Flossie, I wondered how you would respond to that question. Now for me, in the past two years, I've taken on, every time somebody says to me, oh, how are you? I answer with something like, I am wonderful or I'm amazing. And I really, really mean it. I feel it. It comes from my heart. And what I found is there's generally one of three types of response to that, um, to my response. So basically, the first one will be complete incomprehension. That somebody could have answered the normal question of, how are you? with that the statement because the usual is oh yeah okay fine whatever so they sort of stand there aghast going oh my god who is this person and then you can have the next person who basically looks at you and goes who the fuck does she think she is to say she's wonderful because they've immediately gone to my saying that being something about my ego Look, I'm wonderful. I'm amazing. Which, of course, is not where I'm at. And then you get the third group who are actually on the same wavelength as you and go, oh, that's amazing, brilliant, I'm so pleased. Now, I think most of us, and I, well, I'm certainly guilty of this, when asked that question, I go, oh, I'm fine, thank you. Now, over the past few years, there's been various memes about the word fine, that you know, if a husband asks a woman what the word, you know, how they're feeling, and she says, I'm fine, it basically means she's not. Watch out. Um, and I've also, ever since I read this one meme, I've tried never to use that word because fine basic, basically means fucking incapable of normal expression. So when anybody says they're fine, I immediately go to the fact they're just using that. They're just using that word because they can't actually realise or think what they actually feel like. So the thing is that when you can sit in feeling wonderful and feeling amazing, you do many wonderful things to your body. If you truly sit in that emotion, that heartfelt, wonderful, positive emotion, you are triggering a release of 1,400 different chemicals into your body which promote well-being, boost your immune system, make you feel good whereas if you sit in oh, life is awful I'm really hard and I'm not saying it's not but you have a choice Ooh, I nearly fell in a puddle then um, you have a choice of actually projecting a different emotion to make you feel better but if you stay in the negative emotion what tends to happen is you are releasing, instead of the 1,400 good chemicals, 1,200 negative chemicals. Now, these chemicals are released uh, and they act for about 90 seconds to two minutes. And they have a purpose. You know, if you're stressed and you, um, something happens in your environment, you need to be able to prepare yourself um, for fight or flight. And these are some of the chemicals that do that. But when we sit in a permanent state of, oh my God, you know, life is so hard, my life is so bad, we are producing those chemicals all the time. You're reducing the energy in your body and you are putting yourself into a much weaker state to be able to fight any infections um, and basically you feel like shit. And there is something you can do about it. So my advice, my thought for today is that when you next meet somebody and they ask, how are you? Step into that emotion. 
step into that heartfelt emotion of I'm wonderful because not only do you feel better but by putting that energy out into the field you actually make the person you're talking to feel better because it impinges on their energy field and they pick up the positivity. Now I'm not going to say you're definitely going to change the way they feel but you've got a blooming good chance of doing it. I'm just going to stop here because as you can see we're in the middle of June and it's absolutely soaking wet everywhere. Last year we didn't have a blade of grass and this year it's like the monsoon season but there we go. Um, so anyway, sorry digression. I That's my tip for today is to sit in being wonderful. Know you're wonderful. We're all extraordinary. And yeah, shit hits the fan and stuff happens. But we have a choice in A, how we respond and B, how we feel. And if we can sit in that feeling wonderful, which if nothing else will make you feel better, whatever the situation around you, um, it's a really easy hack. So have a wonderful day. I'm going to continue my walk with a Flosskins. Flossie! <whistles> yeah. I'll just say, let you say hello to my little Floss. He's an absolute dog. Flossie, sit. 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 Good girl. She does get a treat for that. Um, and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful Sunday. Take care.